Hi there guys, Vino here and welcome to this Vino Plonk production and welcome to yet another entry into the Facebook marketplace bonanza. Yes, I'm still milking that for, <laughs> for all I can milk it for because I've got more um, DVDs that I've bought from Facebook Marketplace and to be honest with you, I can envision it carry on for quite some time. I do have a few things to say before I talk about what I've got talked about today. So first of all, if I haven't mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. Thank you very much for the support on the previous videos in this whole series. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I've enjoyed going out, getting the DVDs, recording all of the videos, and now I've got quite a bit of um, work ahead of me organizing them all. They're still to my left. In fact, you can see some of them on, on frame there. Just gonna move over a little bit. I've got quite a bit of time and work ahead of me organizing them all and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but I'd also like to set expectations and say that you know, some of that, all of it together was, you know, a little bit pricey and I've paid quite a bit of money out this month already because I got a new phone, um, went out for a meal, got a Switch OLED that I didn't pay for myself. It was actually a gift for me. So, you know, money's a little bit more tighter this month. And the reason why I'm setting expectations now is because some people, when you do a big update like that, they expect that then to be the norm. It's not going to be the norm. Just want to set expectations right there and let people know that you know, maybe in a couple months time where things have calmed down a little bit, we'll get back onto that road a little bit. But for now, things are going to calm down. Also, excuse the t-shirt and what have you. It's a nice Sunday evening here, kind of a casual Sunday evening. I'm a bit warm, so, you know, t-shirt it is. And as always, guys, please subscribe, comment, like, dislike, whatever you wish to do. And with all that being said, let's get into what I've got to update you on now. Um, I do still have a CD update to do with the previous uh, stuff I got, but this is actually a friend's, I think their favorite anime. So I thought I'd show this off now and then we'll go forward with the CD update later on. So what I've got to my right here are seasons one to nine of Naruto, including the third Naruto film, The Guardians of the Crescent Moon Kingdom. So yes. Here we have, I'm just going to bring them up for the camera. There we go. So here we have all nine of the original Naruto series that ran from 1999. And of course, much later on became Naruto Shippuden until in 2017, I believe it was, it then ended and went into Boruto, which is currently still going on as far as I'm aware. I've wanted this collection for quite some time. So I don't know if I explained this on a video that's actually gone live. I may have explained it on a vlog that's still stored on my camera at the moment and I'm umming and ahhing whether I'm going to upload it or not. Is Naruto has been on Crunchyroll for quite some time. If you don't know what Crunchyroll is, Crunchyroll is an anime streaming service. It's now free to watch, by the way, and it's ad supported. So, you know, take that what you will. You can pay for a subscription and, you know, circumnavigate the efforts. Should you wish to, there are other ways to circumnavigate the efforts. Again, all of that is completely your prerogative. No judgment here. But you can now watch Crunchyroll free, especially if it's an older show like Naruto. But Crunchyroll... Um, is very virulent in their adhesion to the original Japanese voiceover. There's very few shows on there that have both the English and the Japanese um, dub, basically. So Naruto is Japanese voiceover, but for the longest time only had German or otherwise subtitles. I think it's German or Japanese or some other um, subtitles. So I was unable to watch Naruto on... Crunchyroll and any Naruto that I downloaded off of the interwebs on the on the seven seas, if you will, again had Japanese voiceover. So this is one of the few ways I actually managed to get hold of Naruto with the original English voiceover. I looked at getting the set quite a while ago. It's going to cost me over a hundred pounds, about 120 pounds to get all of it, but I held off on doing that and then literally just got this set from Facebook for 40 pound. So let's go through it, shall we? So I've actually got this in reverse order right now. So first up, I've already shown you the Naruto movie. This is Guardians of the Crescent Moon Kingdom. There we go. That is the back. 
And then seasons seven to nine here are in just standard plastic jewel cases. Um, so we have Naruto season nine there. Or series 9, that is the back. By the way, Naruto Unleashed is the DVD releases of Naruto. I think it's the same as like unrated or uncut. The Unleashed part is supposed to represent that. But also there are some extra bits and bobs in these um, DVD sets that were original on TV. So they've gone with the Unleashed um, thing. I will say that if you Google this over the internet, some people or some places are saying that Unleashed is a different series than the original Naruto and Shippuden. It's not. It's the original Naruto. We just called it Unleashed here in the UK because of the DVD releases. So there you go. Um, I think there are Blu-ray releases of Naruto. I don't think it's in high definition. Just puts more episodes per disc, which cuts down the cost. A little bit. I Some of them are unleashed. Some of them are just stand up Naruto. So just to let you know, that's the thing. We then have series eight here in two different parts. So there we go. There are the two parts there. Very cool. Series seven is also in two parts. So there we go. Both of them right there on the backs. And then we get to the rest of them that are in slipcases. I really like the earlier um, slipcases, even some of the later slipcases do, like re do look really good. But I will say after a certain point looking around the internet, they dropped the slipcases. So I think from season six or seven onwards, they dropped the slipcases and went to standard plastic jewel cases, which is a little unfortunate, but at the end of the day is what it is for season six is in this double double thickness pack here. You've got two slim packs, I say slim packs, they're not slim packs, standard dual cases on the inside and then the slip cases on the outside. Does look rather nice, I must say. Then we've got season five. There we go. Season four. I keep saying series, but it says series on here. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Same diff. Then we got series three. There we go. And then series two. And then probably after this, my two favorite slip cases is again, series one is in its own two individual volume slip cases here and releases here. But I really like that first one, the sort of that embossed Naruto there behind Behind, I don't know if I can actually catch it in the light, but there you go. That looks really, really quite classy. I really like the look of that first slip cover. And of course, the second part of season one or series one is, of course, in the trademark Naruto orange there, which absolutely beautiful. Um, if you ask me, I will go open up disc one or part one, rather, season one, part one just to show you what they look like on the inside. Pretty standard, they've got the episode in this particular set on the side there and each of the discs look something along that. And there's minimal art on the inside, but that's essentially what they look like on the inside. You can also buy, you know, the first how many seasons slip case list as well, if you wish to, if you wanna save a bit of money, depending on where you buy them from. But yeah, that has been a look at series one to nine of Naruto. I actually watched two or three episodes earlier on and I'm really enjoying the start of, of Naruto. Looking at the back of some of these sets, there's some testimonials on the back here and some people are saying, you know, it's the hottest, hottest series in years. Some people are saying it would change the face of anime from now on. And, you know, some people are saying it's, the, it's a perfect blend of anime and action. So, you know, I'm looking forward to, to getting through um, these and then maybe as I'm watching my way through these, I'll start collecting Neuroto Shippuden, which is gonna be a longer and more expensive um, endeavor because each part of Neuroto Shippuden, every series or, or volume, if you will, costs about 30 pound. And considering there were 500 plus episodes of Neuroto Shippuden, 
going to take a while to collect to collect those um, and expensive as well so you know i've got definitely some some of my time cut out with me when it comes to naruto here and i'm very much looking forward to getting through some naruto when it comes to english voiceovers by the way we'll say at the end here that i've gone through all of that i am perfectly okay with japanese voiceovers on animes it's just some animes i find it hard to concentrate on the action and the subtitles and there are some um there are some animes I just find personally better with English dubs. It really is a personal preference. There are some people that hate the Dragon Ball Z English dubs. I can't. I find it hard to watch it any other way, although I have watched um, the majority of Super in Japanese voiceover. So, it, and yeah, I've got a friend, or now an ex-friend, I'm guessing, um, cannot watch the Japanese voiceovers, has to watch the English dubs. So, it really is... A personal preference let me know in the comment section below which you prefer do you prefer the original japanese voiceover or do you prefer english dubs when it comes to animes and if that's the case which animes do you prefer either or or i think that's quite an interesting discussion to have anyway guys as always please take care enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video ta -ra.